Hello, Denture family. I hope everybody is doing pretty good. It's Friday. Yay, yay, yay. Um, just want to give you an update. I went to the dentist um, this morning to have my reline redone. And um, I got a new tech today. He was uh, helping out from a, a different uh, store. Uh, not store, but office. Different office. And... Um, he seen what I was talking about. He at first he kind of interrupted me a little bit, and I'm sleepy and I'm tired, so I kind of gave him that look like, "Can you just hear me out?" You know, type of look. So he, I guess he took heed to my, to the way I was looking, and and so what he did was, um, he took he took the material. He said, "I'm just gonna start over," and he showed me how much my gums had shrunk from the edge of the denture when I first got them which we you know we know that we know it's gonna shrink we know that's what's going on and so anyway he's seen the lopsidedness he's seen everything that I was showing you guys and so um when he did the material this time now I don't know he mixed it differently or what but I didn't even get a bad taste so maybe he didn't put so much of something in there so it wasn't even a bad taste this time so far so good i'm not gonna say oh it's awesome it's just i do i can tell the difference it's not rubbing up on my tongue he let some material overlap down in the bottom to help get rid of that um that sore over there this one is gonna heal i did my salt water rinses and um so i'm gonna keep doing it you know to get it to come down um the other lady that did did my uh dentures too guys to let you know that i'm doing pretty good as far as keeping them clean and stuff because when she took the lining out she said all she could smell was minty <laughs> from my dentures it's like this big mint smell so they notice that kind of stuff so if your dentures are nasty you know or something you know, she said she's had, they've had people give them dentures with food in them still and to the point where they was like, um, we can, you can go in the bathroom and rinse these out. Don't, don't be like, don't handle them people in dentures looking like this. It's just crazy. Especially if you want, you know, I'm not saying they're going to judge you or, you know, get the best help, but just FYI, you know, just keep your mouth clean because they probably, you know, they might talk about you at the end of the day. But anyway, back to what I was I'm all over. I am so sleepy, guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm up here looking like a little booger wolf right now, but I'm clean. So, um, yeah, he did me some more material down here. Like I said, the overlap, kind of like a flashing a little bit, which I really do like it because it is comforting. That's so I've been having here for quite some time now. So um, we're just going to see what it do. You know, he added more material up there he said my bite was off but he put it back you know and uh, i guess because it was a little bit i had a little bit of an overbite which i was okay with that i thought that looked natural and kind of sexy you know a little bit so i'm okay right now um i gotta give it time like you say you know sometimes you don't know it's bad for a couple of two three days you know so Again, they told me if it ain't right to come back. I appreciate that. Love them for that. Um, also, he was telling me with mouth sores that as soon as you get mouth sores and you do, he said if they linger too long, like this one has been, you have to get them adjusted because he said it's like if you're wearing a shoe too small or something in, in how it, your foot conforms to it or the shoe conforms to your your foot, he said the same thing with your gums. If your gums are, you got mouth sores or whatever, your, your gums is going to uh, conform to the denture. I am, and I might be saying it wrong, but he said it's best to get them, them taken. You don't want no ridges, no, no mouth sores or nothing to mess with your denture because then your denture is going to adhere to that mouth sore like it's supposed to be there and it's not especially with a soft free line so i just want to keep that in mind and i'm i hope i'm not saying it wrong you kind of get the gist of what i'm saying with that but anyway today is okay you know um it didn't pre you know what as long as it don't affect my eating i'm okay but i don't like mouth sores and i know with the denture journey 
you're going to experience milestones throughout the, the journey. It might be a time where you go a long time without any milestones, but I think at least the first six months, you're going to experience like a uh, milestones with the adjustments and the gum shrinkage and things like that. Your mouth is going through a lot of changes. And so again, we have to be patient, do what we supposed to do and, and just keep pushing through. Um, and and not settle you know um if you feel something is not right and you know you have to stand firm as i've said before and what you feel because again they don't wear dentures we do as long as we're not over the top and yelling and and you know and just don't act like that you know as best you can um i mean you know if you don't have to then don't you know just be be calm cool and collective and you know walk out of there feeling good and if you go home in a few days and it ain't right call them back up hey i'm still having some issues and you know and things like that so right now like i said i'm okay i'm feeling good i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna i'm gonna give it three to five days to see how i'm doing and if it ain't right I will call them up again because I don't go back in until January. Everything is done. I, I don't go back till January for my permanent. And I, I looked at it this time. He looked at it too. And we looked at both, you know, the sides and everything like that. And he kind of built up, um, put material in while my mouth was in. Told me how to, you know, hold my tongue and, and everything. And so he really did work with me and took his time. I said, tell me what to do and you know in, in that form what you need me to do and so he did and it like i don't even have the bad taste I, i'm just floored about that because you, you know with that material it tastes so bad it tastes like nail polish but it's not nail polish remover but it's not like you know it affects my food but this time i was i don't know what you did but I, why am i not getting the bad taste <laughs> so he just laughed you know i didn't we didn't really dwell on it so um it seems sometimes my front seems a little off to me and it might be just my camera my phone but it doesn't feel it but i'm looking at it and i feel a little off like it feels like this tooth is over here more and you know marking them say about that line <laughs> your midline i'm not worrying about it right now these are just my immediates and i'm at the point now like i'm i'm just i'm chilling as long as i'm not in no pain and it doesn't look just like real crazy so like i say you got to pick and choose your battles and if i feel like it's just so off if it was like over here somewhere then yeah i would but if it's just off centered a little bit i'm okay with it because he did try to line them up because they were he said they were offline, um, especially with the um, the reline that I had made them kind of um, not lined up. And so, yeah, they're lined up a little, a little better now. But anyway, that's my update. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Don't allow anybody to steal your joy. Smile. It's me, Sweet Lady V. I'm doing the thing as best I can. Stay encouraged. Keep others encouraged. And you guys have an awesome weekend. Peace.